Hey guys, this is my uh, third update, probably about two weeks since my last update of my Deep Blue Professional 57 rimless tank. As you can see, I've, uh, from my last video, I have some changes already through Coral. Uh, I got some new fish. Um, my blind is plenty here. We'll start off with him because he was the first fish I added since my ick outbreak that killed pretty much the whole tank. Um, been doing very well, so. Very swimming, no signs of ick, and very happy. As you can see, he loves to swim by the surface, goes up and down all day long. So that's a great sign. My mystery rats was pretty much not too far uh, past him since I had the Midas Bunny, maybe a couple of days after, and he's been doing very well too. No signs of ick, even though ick is definitely in his tank. But uh, I guess the levels is low enough and his fish are strong enough to not show any signs and worry about it. So very good sign. Uh, here's two of the three firefish. Uh, they, one, there is the other one. Uh, they, uh, were hiding in the last video, but now they're out. Uh, this is actually a new addition, uh, to my tank. Uh, you can see they're still closed, but it's about a 40, 43 head Aussie Duncan Coral. Uh, just give a couple more days. It should acclimate in this tank and start opening up. Definitely in a good spot. Right behind that is my pencil wrasse. It's called a cancel, candy pencil wrasse. And he's a beautiful wrasse, if I could get a good picture of him. He sleeps in the sand as well. Um, he's a little shy right now, but he has a nice blue and yellow stripe across him. And he's like a greenish, bluish body. Beautiful fish. Uh, this right here, I hung it upside down because this is a chili coral. And it's supposed to have like white flowers or white polyps come out. Um, it wasn't the best of shape when I got them, but it was such a good price that, you know, I gave it a shot and hopefully it recovers has great flow and in the shade with low light not in di not direct light so that's perfect conditions for this chili coral to thrive and if that uh, likes its spot it's going to start uh, coming back and pop you know the polishers come out so I know it's in great shade there's that pencil rice in the back and I get might try and take all the uh, TV time here again my uh, maze brain coral here this my last video, you can see the feeder tentacles are out. It's a Darwin's Micromusa, Aussie coral, kind of in the family of the acans. It looks like acans, but they're bunched up and they don't get as puffy as the uh, these acans do. And that's a, actually a new acan here. It's a green and purple uh, acan. There's the pencil rest. Look how beautiful that is. Such a beautiful fish. He sleeps in the sand as well, like my uh, Malinaris rest, which you can see here is loving his life here. Uh, he's very aggressive eater. Actually, when I have my little net, um, when it comes to feeding time, we have my mice syrup, and I just kind of squirt with a, a turkey baster to get the shrimp all around the tank. He's attacking the net. So if he ever comes an issue in this tank, I'm sure he's going to be easy to uh, get out because he sees the net. He's going after it. So uh, these clocky clowns here actually been hosting this the, the Xenia. And that kind of concluded my thoughts of getting a rose bubble tip anemone for them. Uh, I was just kind of concerned of it uh, getting one, getting stuck in the power head, two, it killing some of my fish, and three, I was worried about it walking all over the place and not, you know, start attacking my coral and stinging them. So I'm glad I, uh, you know, they uh, are hosting this. The reason why I got Clarky this time. Uh, compared to like the regular, uh, you know, Nemo fish, it's because uh, Clarky clowns are known to host pretty much anything. So, and the Xenia doesn't seem to uh, be bothered by them. So, they're happy. I'm happy. My uh, toastal leather doing good again. Kind of a little squished up right now, but uh, my Starry Blenny, he's on right now. But the currents change, and the heel opens up, close up. He does his little thing all day, all along. My Rasta leather. You can see here doing very well. I put my Wessel in the back here. This spring coral here reminds me of Aruba. I was actually snorkeling on my honeymoon, so had to get the piece. And the brown stuff right now is actually the tentacles all out. So you can see all the brown in the background. That is all feeder tentacles. It's my Mr. Rats doing very well. Look at him. Very happy in his tank. The uh, SPS coral again, um, not too, too so well here. That's a new piece here, frag, and, uh, you know, ready receding right away. My Dambacornis here, receding, my purple one and my green one. So 
Uh, these guys were on the transfer for my JBJ tank, my ORA, Bird of Paradise, which was one of my favorite corals. He kicked the bucket. So I got to wait for this tank to be more established, around like six, seven months or so. Uh, I also got another fish here. And hopefully uh, he can see him good. There he is. It's my marine beta. Had him for about a week now. I'm not too sure if he was eating anything. Uh, definitely is eating, uh, hopefully, some ghost shrimp that I bought. But I saw him eat some prepared mice shrimp or the frozen mice shrimp in this pet store. That's the reason why I went for him because uh, they know are a little tough to uh, switch over from live food. But uh, at this moment, I don't know if he's uh, eating or not. Uh, but he's been here for a week and he's been swimming around. So I'm assuming he's getting something in his belly. I can get a little better close up of this this brain coral here. See all the tentacles out a little bit. It's very nice coral. It pops at night very nice. And my little firefish and my uh, brain coral here. Now on this side here, I got a uh, purple nudie branch here. Very beautiful nudie branch. Uh, supposed to be a algae eater slash detritus eater, but uh, based on my, you know, what I saw on aquacon.com, very similar uh, nudie branch on there. Problem is that there's about 3,000 of these things of different species and actually more than 3,000, probably 6,000. Uh, so uh, everyone has like maybe a special diet of certain food that they eat, mainly like sponges or even coral. He's definitely reef safe, just I hope I have some stuff in this tank uh, sponge wise or algae wise, where he's supposed to be an algae eater, that it'll flourish because it's definitely a beautiful nudie branch and uh, you know, I like to see him do very well in my tank. I think it's Jacques right there. Now over here, I think you get a good shot of him, is my, um, can't get a good shot, but I have a sunburst Antheus as well. He's uh, camera shy right now, but um, he's uh, my newest addition of Antheus wise. Very difficult fish just because they uh, need to be fed multiple times a day, which I definitely do in my tank, so uh, that gives it chances of surviving and uh, flourishing. Just a beautiful fish overall too as well. And right now if you're looking at my gold torch here, that's actually a new frag. Uh, my other gold torch that I had from my other tank has perished. Uh, I put it in a position where the Xena was blocking the light and flow. One head went on the gold torch and then the other head went as well because it was attached to it and I guess it just got a disease and died. Um, so I put this torch here as you see very very happy with the flow got some good light and same thing here is a new piece here is my uh, hammer core here is like a purple tip of green on the sides my uh, orange hammer right there is doing good my frog spine I've been moving him around he hasn't been happy uh, trying to get a good flow for him um, but he's not too happy so I gotta get him happy like the rest of my uh, torches here this is the yellow tip doing very well uh, my pearl bubble uh, not pearl bubble but a regular bubble coral He's kind of like closed up right now. I think he's about to poop. But this left side is not doing too well. I've uh, been like that since I had it and this tank. And don't know what uh, could be wrong. The edges on this coral seem to be clean. So it looks like he's still healthy. Just don't know. I moved him around. Try to give him a different flow, different light. This right side, uh, not right now, but is always fully bubbled out and happy. So I know he's doing good on that side. Oh, there's my sunburst Antheus. And he decided to pop his head out a little bit, but he'll come back out. He's just scared when I come over. So, that's my uh, next update, guys. And hopefully in my next update, you'll see this Duncan coral do very well and pops coming out of the chili coral. Just uh, had a lot of changes, so I just did an update. And... This is also an old new coral, uh, daisy polyps. Felt it was a good spot for it. And uh, hopefully everything starts to thrive in this tank. Keep you guys updated and stay tuned.